Hey folks! So today I'm gonna quickly go over my current bikepacking setup for my next adventure on the Hurricane 300. On the front of my bike here I've got the Sweet Roll size medium and that will hold my sleeping bag and my tent. Now for this trip I am taking the Hexamid, my gold old-fashioned Hexamid, instead of my Eon Li because the Eon Li was just a bit too big to try to fit in this sweet Earl handlebar bag. I used it on my last short trip and it was kind of a hassle so on this trip I'm opting just to go with the uh, old-fashioned Hexamid. Along with my sleeping bag and my Hexamid tent I do also have my long underwear in that handlebar bag. That little orange bag on the sweet roll is going to hold my microphone for my camera, <laughs> which is currently on the camera, and possibly also my cell phone. On the handlebar itself I've got a little monopod thing here from GoPro so that I can keep my GoPro ready to use on the trip to get you some POV shots. <laughs> on this trip I will also be using a Wahoo Element uh, bolt. It's the first trip I'll be using this so hopefully it will work out good. It was super easy to set up and I've used it on a couple little training rides and it seems to do what I want it to do so hopefully it will work out. Now, traveling down to the fork, I did set up these fork-mounted water bottle holders. Um, I went on to bikepacking.com and found a cool little trick for making your own fork, suspension fork-mounted water bottles. So I got these cheap water bottle holders at Walmart and I used electrical tape, about two-thirds of a roll on each fork to get the water bottle holder to stay in place. It seems super sturdy and according to bikepacking.com this should hold on for at least a thousand miles. I did take it on my last short trip and it did awesome. Now on super rough terrain I do have one of those uh, voil straps, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that I will strap the bottles in so that they don't fall out. But yeah, these suspension fork mounted bottle cages have been working awesome. And it was just like a $10 cheap uh, water bottle cages from Walmart. Up in the cockpit here, I've got a Rivoli Designs gas tank. And that is going to hold my Canon M50 camera, which is what I used on my last little trip. I put a little bit of padding on the bottom of it so that my camera wouldn't get knocked around on the aluminum. Um, and it worked really great. So it's right there, so it's easy for me to grab and take some video. And then moving under my seat, there's another gas tank. Uh, this is not the best. Uh, <laughs> way of storing my tools. I probably should have gotten some other bag there, but it's what I had already, so I just used it. But yeah, all my bike tools are under the seat right here. And then in the triangle, I've got my homemade frame bag. It is going to hold about two days of food. It's got two days of food in there right now. The uh, zipper is on the other side. Underneath the triangle on that bottom tube there, I installed the Beer Rad water bottle cages. Or not the cages, but just the holder. Um, and I've got a couple water bottle cages there, so more water storage. Behind the seat there, I've got a Revelate Designs uh, Terrapin, not their newest seat bag. Uh, it's the one I already had from a year ago, so I stayed with that one, it is eight liters. I wish I had a bigger one, <laughs> but I bought this when I had a full suspension bike and the eight liter one is the one that worked with that bike. So I'm just gonna keep using this one. That one holds any extra food, stuff like that. Um, my cook kit, my chain lube, my water filter, stuff like that. 
the heaviest thing it holds, which is down at the base closest to the bike, is my electronics bag, which has two battery packs, uh, a 10,000 milliamp hour and a 20,000. Since I'm using that bike computer on this trip, which I will need to charge basically every day, I wanted to make sure that I had enough power, plus enough power for my cameras. I also have stored my rain gear in the seat bag. On top of that, I stuck my sleeping pad. It's a Thermarest NeoAir X-Lite women's version. It sits on there really nice with a bungee that the seat bag came with. If it's raining or something like that, I can throw that in a gallon Ziploc bag. Uh, the seat bag is waterproof, but that, that Thermarest stuff sack is not, so I will be bringing some extra gallon size Ziploc bags in case it is raining. And then I've got my trusty backpack. It's an Osprey, just a regular old day pack. I think it's called the Escapist or something like that. Um, it's like a 30 liter backpack. I don't really need one that big, but it's what I've got, so I'm using it. And that holds my little bike pump, uh, two spare tubes, uh, let's see what else, uh, tire levers, a bag of Fritos, a synthetic vest that my sister gave me for any chilly evenings, a cord for doing food hangs at night because I will be going through black bear country and possibly also some toiletries. That's either going to go in here or I might be able to fit it in that seat bag. Well, that is it guys. I did forget to mention tent stakes are also in that handlebar bag with the tent. And I am bringing a pole from Tarp Tent because I'm not bringing my trekking pole and that tent does need a pole to set up. And that little pole is in my backpack. so. That is it guys, super simple setup. Kind of disappointed I have to bring a backpack, but I don't have quite enough room on the stuff on my bike. So in the backpack it goes. It's still fairly light, so that is good. If you have any questions about what I'm bringing, maybe about what I'm not bringing, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be responding back to you. Till next time guys, go on an adventure and have a great time. If you got any value out of this video, please give me a like, a thumbs up, and consider subscribing for more tips and tricks, more adventures, all kinds of fun stuff. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys when I get back from this adventure. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes.